back to it. Your Feel Good Breakfast Show is live, large and in charge on this Thursday morning TikTok time with my friend Grant Hines. Of course, he's the main man when it comes to that kind of scene. Now, uh, if you had to take a guess, what would you think is the most expensive piece of tech in the world right now? And, you know, when you think about the prices that uh, some of these tech pieces ask for, does the function justify that high price? Uh, well, Grant is here to take us through some of his findings. He's been doing research on this topic. Um, and I'm quite excited to actually find out because the other day we did a list of the highest charging influencers on Instagram. I don't know if you wish. Oh, no, that must have been interesting. The rock charges like over 1 million rand per sponsored post. We need to get on that level. Yo, we need to get there. Then we'd afford this tech. <laughs> Yo, so brands, get hold of cat. <laughs> but what have you got on your list of some of the most expensive tech in the world? So technology essentially is kind of like the same. Like everything is kind of relatively, like it's as cost effective as possible. Most companies that are making money out of technology make it off of services, right? Okay. So like you sell a product uh, like a console at as low price as you can to have more people use that piece yeah. of technology. So that's why, yeah, it's 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 really fairly priced generally when you buy like and a phone. And the services or, are what they actually make the money Exactly. Off. More people that use the, the product, the better. To the, say the Xbox Gold or Live. Yeah, the uh, whole the, uh, cool. and PlayStation Network, all that stuff. Cool. Now we take it up a, a notch. Some people just want something a little exclusive. Okay. You know, they want to make it exclusive. And I was doing this research and it blew my mind. Yeah. The first one that I want to show you is an 18 karat gold and diamond Bitcoin edition phone that is $11,000. Now that in Rand is 1,000, 180. Wait, 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 listen properly, listen properly. <laughs> Go again. 180,000. Rand. It's one hundred eighty thousand rand. Like roughly, it's it's probably closer to <laughs> to two hundred thousand rand for a phone. Cat, That's madness. For a phone. That's madness. I no. And imagine what? Imagine taking that on contract. <laughs> <laughs> what did you pay on contract for that? Like you know what I mean? 10k a month. Wow. Okay, so we're going to cool. take That's it up mad. a level. That's mad. That's the okay. next one is a connected modular watch. So a lot of really expensive watches. If you're in the watch game, yeah. like expensive watches can Sheesh. get pricey because they are like quite exclusive. This one is a, a, a digital watch. A lot of a lot of digital watches aren't that expensive because yeah. technology improves. Yes. So dramatically, analog technology kind of stays the same yeah. for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. This is a hundred and ninety-seven thousand dollars. So in South African rand. <laughs> It's three million, it's like nearly three and a half million rand. Rant. Basically, it costs as much as the average house in Bishop's Court in Cape Town. For a watch! <laughs> no, 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 and, and not just any watch, not an analog watch that's gonna, that, you know, it's gonna improve in value over time. You no. can sell it or give it to your it's family like it might or whatever. Crash. I don't know. It's, <laughs> yo, software is, needs a software update. It's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're literally wearing a house on your wrist, bro. <laughs> That's madness. Ah, yeah, I don't that know. That is insane. People, okay. people must... I've, I've got a feeling it gets more insane, though. It, it does. Okay, okay, so this next one is... Um, it's actually a phone company that doesn't exist a anymore. They folded. I mean, come on. <laughs> Was it a fold phone? <laughs> 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 Good joke. Uh, we didn't plan that. So this is the, it's called the Virtue Signature Cobra. It's three hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Bro, no. You know no, that thing runs no, BBM. No, no, no. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> you look at it. You know. You know. You want to toss that thing out. That that cost six million rand. No. That's the worst. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Right. In life. I've like, never, wow. Like, you think that people waste their money? That is the biggest waste of money. Look at that screen! I guess it's because, like, it's diamond crusted. Actually, I want to get up here. I want to I wanna talk about this. What is happening here? It's, <laughs> like, that's taking up all the screen real estate. It's a really bad design. It still has buttons. The, ne the next piece of tech is, okay. is completely excessive. Okay. It's a one meter. You know the HDMI cable that plugs your console into or your, your box TV, into yeah. the TV, right? The a so, that's an HDMI cable. It's an cool, HDMI cool, cable. Cool. This one is a diamond. One meter. It's not even fancy. It's so one like meter. This long, this yeah, long. this long. A meter. Yeah. What would you learn at school? It's like this big. Cool. <laughs> it's a thousand dollars. So it's eighteen thousand rand. It's nearly two, twenty thousand. It's nearly the same price as a flagship phone for an HDMI cable because you want it embraided with diamonds. Wow. It doesn't offer you any higher no, speed no, of connection, no. nothing? Oh. I, this, this should cost you a hundred bucks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe 150 Rand. Like that's what it should cost you. And they were just like, I don't know, put diamonds in this thing. And you know what the weird thing about all this technology is that it goes out of date. Oh we, HDMI is going to improve. We're going to have higher refresh rates. You're going to have to get new HDMI cables later. Maybe stage. you can wear it around your neck. As <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll call AKA, yo, you need an HDMI. Don't, don't. He might tweet you, don't. don't. I just, you know, when you go to your friend's house okay. and they go, you know, the console's not working, you can just, I got, I got you, man. <laughs> got it around my neck. The next one is a speaker. Okay, cool. Okay, I had to find sound, is, sound is very important generally, so. Look, like, like, how important is sound? Sure. It's a beautiful looking speaker, right? Well, I mean, it's a bit debatable. It could look like something out of Spirited Away, some anime an enemy or something. <laughs> okay, cool. It looks like a bag. Somebody dressed in a bag. You know, it's a bit of a his head. This speaker is $77,000. The equivalent of how much rent? One million, it's 1.3 million rand for a speaker. Like, it's gotta do more than play music at this point. You know what I mean? That speaker better, better be able to speak to your ancestors. Yeah. In like the next <laughs> lifetime. What are you doing? Yeah, like, That's the maddest thing I've ever heard in my life. So like, okay. okay, just moral of the story, guys. Any tech that is doing this like flashy stuff, don't buy it. It's, it's stupid. Like, tech improves over time. We're gonna have iterative, better ones uh, like in the, in the future. Mm. You don't wanna invest a whole bunch of money on technology that's going to be obsolete. Yeah. That's important. Gracious. We've got, we've got, great, we've got great devices. We've got great, mm. we've got great products that are out now that are affordable, yeah. that yeah. can help us. You know, this, they can do great yeah, things. They can on. do incredible things. Ah. Don't waste your money on flashy tech. Let's find out what some of our viewers had to say on social media. We asked you about what is the most expensive piece of tech that you own, okay? Uh, that's not mine, that's Grant's seat. Um, Aiden Isaacs said this, Morning guys, I think it's probably my cell phone, which is probably the right answer for yeah, a lot of people. And that's a reasonable answer. Cool, cool. Donovan Mentor says, uh, my computer monitor. Probably one of those very cool gaming ones as well, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. the one that we had in that uh, simulator. And then Joshua DJ Joshi says, my 7,000 Rand Xbox One console. Hey, fair enough, fair enough. See, these are reasonably priced things. Oh, yeah. And, and as I said, they, they, they're good prices. This technology, is they, they make money on the services of the technology. It's, it's a really good pe price piece of technology. And the, the R&D that goes into this, people, it's not just the price of the hardware when you buy a, a te research technology. Research and development, by the way. Yeah, it's the research and development that it takes to get to this. Yeah. A lot of money gets invested into working out how to build this. And that's where, that's why, you know, it's not just the, the cost of each component. Yeah. That's how you price technology. That's why I trust this man when it comes to the world of technology. Grant Heinz, thank you very much. Uh, keep interacting with us. Let us know the most expensive piece of tech that you own. Hashtag Expresso Show, all over social media. Right now, time for the news headlines.